Hi, I'm Ashley and welcome to Adding Decimals. In this video, we're going to practice several addition problems with decimals. It is important that you first understand place value, including place value with decimals, like the tenths, hundredths, and thousandths places, and then also understand addition with regrouping. That's like when you carry numbers. Okay, if you all understand all of that, then we're ready to go. Let's get started. Okay, first we have the numbers 5.7 or 5 and 7 tenths, and then 2.3, which is 2 and 3 tenths. It is very important that you line up your numbers by place value. That means the easiest way to be sure you do that is by lining up the decimal point. Notice the decimal point here and the decimal point here are on top of each other. Okay, so now we're going to start on the right like we always do. This is the tenths place. 7 plus 3 equals 10. So we will carry our 1 and write our zero down here. And then we're just going to add up the ones column. So one plus five makes six, plus two more gives us eight. Now, is that our final answer, 80? No, it's not. We have to be sure that we bring our decimal point down as well, that's very important. So our final answer is 8.0. Now, when you have a decimal with zero in the tenths place, then really you could just write eight by itself. You do not have to write these numbers if it's all zeros behind the decimal point. So look at our answer choices over here on the right. And here we have eight. That is our final answer. Okay, here's our next one. We have two plus 0 0.1. Did I write that correctly? If you said no, then you're correct. I'm the one that's wrong. Let me erase that. Do you know what I did wrong? The number two is a digit in the ones place, okay? And the decimal always goes to the right of the ones place. Now, if you don't have anything behind the decimal, you don't have to write one here, but there's always this decimal, okay? So it's like saying 2.0. And remember, when we are adding, we have to line up the decimal points to keep our place value lined up properly. So it is two and zero tenths or 2.0, plus zero and one tenth. Okay, so now let's add that up, the tenths place. Zero plus one equals one, two plus zero equals two, and are we finished? Nope, always gotta bring that decimal down. So two and one tenth is our final answer. Okay, next one, are you ready? We have 34 and 2 tenths. That's 34.2 plus 25.9, 25.9 and 9 tenths. Notice I lined up my decimal. 9 plus 2 gives us what? 11. Now remember, we have to carry here because we cannot fit more than one digit in one column. So then now we have 5 plus 4 gives us 9. One more makes 10. Carry that. Write the zero down here. Always adding the decimal in the right place. Now 2 plus 3 gives us 5. One more makes 6. So here is our final answer, 60 and 1 tenth. Okay, 
Okay, last one. And this is where you really see that it is important to line up the decimal correctly. Look how many digits are back here on this second one. So, okay, the first one, 2.377 plus 5.77195. Whew, that's a long one. I'm going to write the five down first because I always like the number with the most digits on the top. That's just a personal preference. It can be added either way because you remember it addi with addition, the order does not matter. Let me start. I have 5.77195. Then adding two point, look, we're making sure the decimal is lined up. Three, seven, seven. Okay, we're going to add that together. Now notice there are no digits over here. Okay, that's okay. It's just like zeros. So five plus nothing, it's like five plus zero, gives us five. Nine plus nothing is nine. Now we have seven plus one, gives us eight. Seven and seven make 14. Carry the one, bring down the four. Seven plus three is 10, plus the one we had carried gives us 11. Carry that one, bring down the other one, bring down the decimal point, and then we have five plus two is seven, plus one more makes eight. And this is our final answer, eight. 0.14895. Did you see it over here? It is this one here at the bottom. Whew, and that is it. We just added a bunch of decimal problems. Be sure to practice what you've learned with our fun online games and quizzes. And if you need to, come back to this and rewatch it. And don't forget to always be clever. Hey! <laughs>